Oh uh, yeah, typically we'd uh, insert heartbreaking pictures of puppies in cages to pull on your heartstrings. But since we're engineers, how about some facts and statistics to break your heart instead? Fresh water's kind of a big deal. Of the Earth's available water supply, 97% is ocean and totally unfit for human consumption. See that little red sliver? Yeah, that one. That's fresh water and all the water we have to drink. Of that 3%, more than 70% froze up in glaciers and ice caps. As a result, one in nine people lack access to clean water. You see that guy? Yeah, it sucks to be him. What's the problem anyway? The average American family of four uses 400 gallons of water a day, 27% of which is just flushed down the toilet. So it's kind of hard to truly grasp the water crises others experience. To help put it into context, currently 780 million people actually lack access to clean water. That's over double the population of the United States. Can you believe that? That's like one America stacked on top of another America. If that don't do it, 3.4 million people die every year from water-related diseases. That's the population of Los Angeles. Dead. So, using the method of additive manufacturing, we are able to explore new heights in water purification and desalination. By exploiting the unique physical properties of water and lowering the atmospheric pressure by pulling a vacuum, uh, we can reduce the boiling point temperature significantly. Uh, score one for science. So taking advantage of this concept in additive manufacturing, we came up with a design. So 3D printing, it really allows us to use internal support structures like honeycomb uh, that would typically not be available in traditional manufacturing processes. Other benefits, they include its compact size, uh, it's eco-friendly, has low maintenance, and it's really, really easy to use. So is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. We made it. With the combined efforts of the mechanical engineering students, Jared, Taylor, and Brock, well, we've already been able to print stage one prototypes to prove that our design is in fact feasible. Score two science! And the crowd goes crazy!